want you to get in the middle and, and you know, on that chair so that, uh, right. that we can all be roughly the same. Okay, this is a film about Fagnano's problem. It's not a film about Fagnano's problem. All right, it's a film about caroms. This is chapter one. Certainly not the shortest way to get there. <laughs> no. I know what the shortest path is. <laughs> it's about time. Okay, straight line is shortest. Well, it's a humble beginning. They're all straight, they're broken lines straight, they're broken straight lines. We're looking for the shortest path via the wall. Okay, if you think of the wall as a mirror, then you can see which is shortest. If you think of the wall as a mirror, you can see. The red one is the carom. Why, why do you call it the carom? It makes any cool angles at the wall. Okay, now here you want to get from the uh, spot to the two walls and back and the shortest path? Yeah, I want to carry them off the two walls and back. We carry them off the second wall. Yeah, but well what about the first wall? If we think of both walls as mirrors, we can get two caroms in the shortest path. In fact, it doesn't matter where we start. Now we come to Fagnano's problem. Finding the triangle of minimum perimeter inscribed in a given acute angle triangle. You mean you've got to uh, carry them off all three walls? Yeah, there's one carom, there's another. 
Yeah, but what about the third wall? No, nope, that's not a cairn. Well, why? Supposing you started somewhere else. Still no cairn. Why don't you use the uh, use the mirrors at all three walls this time? Wouldn't that do it? It's possible, but not really so elementary. Hold on, and you'll see what works. And why does that work? Wait just a minute now. If I show you these angles are equal, we have a carom at each wall, right? Okay. These two have to be equal. These two. And these two. Now these two angles are equal. Okay, I can see that. They're from similar right triangles. And these two are equal. Now, wait a minute. Uh, why are those two equal? See these four points? No. They're in a circle. They're vertices of a pair of right triangles which have a hypotenuse in common. Okay. So these two angles are equal because they cut off the same arc. So these three angles are equal. All right, these four points are on a circle. Same reason as before. These two angles cut off the same arc. So now we have four equal angles, and we have the important pair, which shows that there is a carom at the wall. Hmm. And the same reasoning holds at each wall. So the feet of the altitudes at the vertices of a minimum perimeter triangle inscribed in the given triangle. Is this the only triangle that works? Well, we'll leave that as an exercise for the reader. <laughs>